best Bitcoin trading and investing strategies for 2022. Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. In today's video guys, I'll be reviewing my Bitcoin trading and investing strategy that I shared with you in 2020. I'll talk about how to apply it now. If you had followed, I released this video in 2022, if you had followed some of the investing strategies from this video, you'd be doing very, very well. Now I talked about, you know, just buying some Bitcoin, my famous face, you know, just buy some with white stop loss and talk about trading altcoins some of the altcoin trade setups i talk about bitcoin long term and just and holding bitcoin because you know i'm a trader i'm at my desk you know 12 16 hours a day but even though i trade full time you could miss a trade you could miss a breakout you could be asleep you could be on holiday so it's really important to huddle some as well and you know just get out of the emotion and fomo so i talk about that and then guys i'll review my trading strategy my my setups that i use to get in those altcoins some of the coins that i huddle so make sure you watch the video till the end i still think this is relevant guys it's probably not as high probability as it was back in 2020 and i'll say the same thing you know back into early 2017 bitcoin price was way cheaper so if you followed it then you would have made more gains if you followed it in 2020 when the price was around here you would have got even more gains if you if you got in around here but still now i'll talk about an exact level you can buy bitcoin again this zone is a really big level for me to buy bitcoin i personally i'm going to look to buy bitcoin at this level but again it's a bit risky if, if this fails like 6k failed we might even get a better entry but we don't know that so i'll talk about you know dollar cost averaging and where you can look to buy bitcoin so take you know get yourself a cup of coffee or a tea and make sure you watch the video till the end this could be one of the most important bitcoin trading investing strategy videos that you watch so guys uh, the first thing is trading and investing are completely different investing in bitcoin just buy some bitcoin if you believe in bitcoin long term just buy and hold some i'm a massive believer in bitcoin i've been saying that since way uh, you know since early 2017 when i got involved with cryptocurrency i said it in 2020 you know i, I made that joke that i'm selling my house to buy bitcoin and you know that was quite life-changing buying bitcoin here and i said i'm going to sell bitcoin and um buy houses uh, that was the plan that i stuck to was able to buy houses but again if i held and not sold then i would have been able to buy three more houses but you never know that that's one of the most important things that i teach you having profit targets and strategies from beforehand because if you don't you, i i didn't sell as much bitcoin here and unfortunately i had to sell a lot lower so it's really important to have plans beforehand and buying the dips i'll talk about buying the dip and i'll give you an example which didn't work initially i was called a scammer for buying bitcoin around 4k because i thought you know i'm buying bitcoin this is really cheap and people were saying no nah, it's going shorter they were like shorting bitcoin they probably got 20 percent gain but i got i got the laugh at the end and i'll say i'll say the same thing i'll share with you some key levels that i'm going to look to buy. could be wrong i might get stopped out and have to buy again um but i'll share with you plans and most you if youtubers just claims you know bitcoin's going to you know a million xrp is going to a hundred dollars but they don't show you where they're entering where they're buying stop watching them guys they're influencers they're not traders they're marketers and and you know you'll be better off not following them so i'll show in, in this channel as you guys know i'm a full-time trader i show you exactly how we trade my trading strategies so uh, let's start the video then so trading and investing are completely different things investing in bitcoin uh, i'm bullish so even now all the way in a sort of not a bear market but the downtrend market i still think you could look to buy some and i'll come to, at the end of the video when i come to the chart analysis to share with you some exact exact zones i'm looking to buy some of the investing strategies have changed so i used to be just you know all in bitcoin ethereum mainly bitcoin but i've changed slightly there's a couple of old coins that i still hold like you know luna and when when coins are trending up I tried to hold them. So, you know, recently near, we, we had a rally in near, so I hold some near, you know, with recent news on TRX, I bought some TRX, but they're mainly trading. So investing wise, I mainly hold Bitcoin and Ethereum still. I'll, I'll update the percentages that these are the, I wanted to keep this video original. And this is what I released in 2020, like I said, and, and I'll, I'll update it every year. I think this will be a good way. I'll, I'll hold a less, a bit less Bitcoin than I usually did. I'd probably say around 50 to 60, uh, maybe a bit less than 50, around 50% I hold Bitcoin now. Uh, Ethereum, I'll own a bit more Ethereum because I think Ethereum maybe have a better upside and I, I might be wrong in this and altcoins i hold a bit more altcoin now as well so like luna especially i own you know about 20 percent luna at, at some point when luna just went absolutely parabolic and shit coins i put five percent I, I probably own less than one percent and it's just like in and out at the moment you know i'm 
not even trading altcoins because the altcoins are down. I'm, I'm short altcoins. If you've you know part of the Rockstar Trading Group, we've been shorting quite a few altcoins. You know, Algo. Uh, you can check all these trades. I mean, these are someone else's trades. You can. I'll, I'll talk about the Rockstar Trading Group. This is the Algo and Zilliqa trade that we took, and uh, the, to protect our wealth, which I'll talk about short hedging. You could look to short it as well. This is from the Rockstar Trading Group. I'll leave the links below if you guys are interested in taking your trading to the next level, checking out our group. But again, if you're just watching this channel, I really appreciate you. And the way you can help us out is just hitting the like button, subscribing, and and commenting below your thoughts. So that's my main. Th that's the sort of initial part of this video. So I'm mainly invested in Bitcoin and maybe a couple of bigger altcoins, alt uh, smaller altcoins. Please don't just buy and hold because I've been in crypto long term and we've seen coins just dump like they can. You know, people. This is a really good exercise. So people think that Bitcoin uh, after something dumps 90%, they just want to hold. So like Vertcoin, I actually still own this coin. This is one of my bags for 2017. It's so small now. I'm just gonna like it's like a souvenir to me. But you know, this dropped um, about 99% and people thought oh it's dropped 99 percent i'll just hold but then you don't know how far it can drop it dropped another 90 percent it's just absolutely ridiculous so please please don't get married to altcoins and that is why i talk about just buying and selling some one of the coins i made a video on reef finance and there's a video on youtube i bought i traded reef uh, on this side you'll see i traded reef but once reef broke below i'm i got out i don't hold reef now but i got a message the other day someone saying oh, are you still holding reef my trade was here to there i got stopped out there and i've not touched reefs since and the same as here i bought it here once it got back below i got out it is really important to have trading strategies and and if you want to get one lesson from me please don't get married to your coins and you know huddle bags because they can go a lot lot lower than you can imagine um, stocks, I don't really talk too much about stocks this video. This is for the Rockstar Trading Group. I'll cover Forex and stocks there. Again, my background is Forex. I came into crypto in early 2017. And trading, again, I love trading. I trade Bitcoin, altcoin, Forex. I shared with you a couple of short trades that we're in. If you watch the live stream, guys, I'm doing a free live stream at the moment on YouTube. I'm not sure how long I'll do it for. Every Sunday, I'm doing a live stream. And uh, the Zilliqa trade setup, I did share it on the live stream. Algo, I think it was in the Rockstar Trading Group. But all these setups I shared beforehand. You can go watch the YouTube live stream uh, if you want to find out more about us. Some of the differences in trading and investing. So trading is short term. You're looking for sort of in and out trades. You know, I'm short Algo and you know Zilliqa. I even shorted Ethereum, but long term I'm still holding Bitcoin Ethereum because I think they'll go they'll go higher. So you're looking using technical analysis. So day to day movement. So you know if there's bearish news, if it's a downtrend or people taking profit after a huge move up, we use as traders use those strategies to get in and out. And it could be quite full on. It's you know heavy to full time, especially if you're trading in you know the shorter time frames, hourly, four hourly time frame is very intensive i'm not saying join my group you'll be a millionaire it will take you months and years you know one of the guys that you know posting these setups most people in my group don't do that because amount of work he's put in and he's got talent for trading as well and, and i don't want to say i'm talented i'd say it's more hard work that you're willing to put in you know hours of hours of chart trading reviewing your trades um following strategy you know, managing your emotions and all that good stuff that i talk about in my trading course and, and also in these youtube videos that i i share with you at uh, the time devoted like i said you know you have to be critical thinking quick and i find you know if you're a gamers gamers do quite well in trading because they're very quick they can react to information quicker like you know change their biases i think gamers i find gamers especially short-term scalping gamers are quite good these are some very successful people uh, jesse livermore read his book if you want to learn about trading that's one of the first books i recommend and people read about trading it's an amazing one of my favorite books investing is more long term so buy and hold fundamental analysis long term potential and i'm sold on bitcoin you know the biggest bull on bitcoin i've been talking about it and i still think it goes 100k or even higher so you know look to buy some bitcoin and i'll say the same thing i'll share with you some plans now if you don't own any bitcoin you've got 10k just buy one or 2k worth of bitcoin even now because it might go to 20k it might go to even lower but long term if you believe in crypto put some money in and hodl don't get scared if someone tweets about bitcoin being bearish and all that stuff some of the characteristics which i already talked about you know maybe impatient i'm more of a trader and so i've had to in improve my investing side of things because i just know oh, bitcoin's going down i'll sell but now there's some bitcoin i hold it on my own wallet and i just think long term it's going to go up so i'm happy to hold that but you know trading these are some of the things that you can you know real time news you need to follow news you need to follow like social media if you're trading an altcoin and there's a big news coming out that the altcoin could pump really big so there's so much to it and you need the community you need to be part of reddit groups telegram groups twitter like you know real time news you need to stay up to date you need to watch the charts it's like could be quite intensive i'm not really selling trading to you and i'll be honest guys you know people sell you that dream trading 
partying is on a beach you buy and uh, on the beach you have cocktails and you just make money and get rich that, that they're influencers guys they're not traders traders is completely different and uh, I'm, I'm being honest i could be like yeah trading's easy join my group and sell you courses but that that would be you know unfair of me so i'm just giving you honest and if you want to put that work in if you want to make life changing you know put that work in and you know get some life changing reward i think the biggest reward is not money is that proving to yourself that you could you know do it and that's you know one of my biggest um proud moments of my life you know being able to trade and and that, the, the next big thing I, I find is like helping someone else to achieve their dreams so i know someone that went to thailand that wasn't more of trading it was more investing and hodling if you remember my theater trade i've helped people you know buy houses move away pay off their mortgage that those are that's like an even better um motivation or, or reward or, or proud moment for me at the moment so let's come a bit to technical analysis and like i said this video is more higher level risk management introduction to trading and investing but this is really important and this is something you should be aware of if you if you know my strategy which i've got a few simple points here explaining to you my strategy trend following support resist i'll, I'll keep it very simple and if you watch my youtube videos I, I try not to complicate you could use elliott waves fancy indicators that people sell for 100k and whatever but at the end of the day you need to know the basics and once you know the basics then you can do it yourself so this is how usually cryptocurrency not crypt any market works and there's a market charts you can follow with the way it works is you if you look at any charts there's usually distribution and then accumulation and then the price goes up or down so if we look at this chart this is the bitcoin chart there's usually um, accumulation around here moves up distribution the price dips then reaccumulation moves up this is in 2014 again same chart patterns and this is what what i'm good at and traders that make money are good at they spot opportunities and then take advantage of it does this chart not look similar to the 6k bottom and then it dips and then it bottoms and it rallies and this happened exactly around here as well very very similar chart pattern and we could be doing a similar chart pattern again and that's why we use this technical analysis to help us spot patterns and uh, find prob high probability setups and then take trades no one knows where the market will go what we do is follow these patterns look at the probabilities and take high probable trades so you know bitcoin if it comes to you know 10k i'm not saying it will or 20k that would be a high 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 probability setup to buy bitcoin then then buying at 60k when your favorite influence like bitboy or the moon they're telling you to buy bitcoin it's going to 100k or something even higher so that's what we look for finding patterns and then we look for uh, the price to go up so going back to my distribution and accumulation setup so if you look at this chart it's reaccumulation pump up mark up distribution so if we look at this chart this bit it's a reaccumulation uh, we have a mark up here we have really small reaccumulation move up distribution the price moves down and if you go back you can find these patterns and this is like our blueprint of how we look at the markets and we try to predict where the market's going to go and we try to trade it get entries and exits at high time frame and then we go into the shorter time frame we have our long-term plan so if we think we're in accumulation we're breaking out we look to getting on pullbacks that's as simple as my trading and again you can pay my for my course like i think it's, it's a special offer now you can get it for 400 pounds it usually uh, even higher but that's and just like I, I explained this strategy in 14 hours or 12 hours and like step by step but if you can use this information you can start using yourself and try to start trading yourself so um why should you invest so i used to be just a trader and i didn't used to hold as much and 2017 i, I learned it the hard way i didn't make as much money as i should have and i've said that honestly 2020 uh, you know is when i made like sort of life-changing money because I, I i follow these principles i i know that you can miss a trade you can be asleep you could be you know there's a huge economic change i s told that story a few times now that i was in amsterdam when we saw that big move up in bitcoin and if i you know i couldn't trade that move because i was away so you a bitcoin bottom could happen and you could be on a cruise around the world you could be at work you could be asleep and you could miss those moves so holding some bitcoin with dollar costing averaging is a great strategy to have and let me know if you know about dollar cost average because i talk about dollar cost average a lot and uh, many people say that they don't really understand the dollar cost averaging so let me know in the comment section below i'll, I'll try to make a specific dollar cost average video for you guys and um, so those are, these are some of the reasons why i huddle as well and and emotions i think is the biggest one because you know you might want to sell I, I when i see this move up you know i'd want to sell bitcoin I'd be like, oh, i want to sell everything but then if i sold everything then then bitcoin is like 
about seven, almost ten x higher now. So that's the reason why I think if you're believing it long term, just hold some. I'm not saying be all in and just hold, but put some money in and hold. And even if you want to learn trading, even though I teach trading, I say still hold some because if you're a new trader, you're gonna lose money. So I don't want you to be trading full time and losing your money because initially, first year or few months at least, you're definitely gonna lose money. That's like the education, the tuition of like going to university. That's how I I I see it or I I teach it to people bitcoin long term so this is i mean this is still active what i said so decentralization it cannot be printed it's a hedge you know how will it react in the market crash so this is a really i've not had an answer to this so if the stock market crash which 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 we're seeing now so at the moment bitcoin is a very highly correlated to the stock market go watch this video it goes in a lot of detail on on how bitcoin is very correlated to the stock market but if there is a big crash in the stock market how would bitcoin react would it be a hedge or would it dump so we don't know that yet but that is a question mark but these are some of the reasons that i'm massively bullish on bitcoin and there's a fall of dollar so you know the dollar in the, all the currencies there's been no currency that's lasted if you look at germany obviously the famous in um the hyperinflation in zimbabwe all currencies fail because they're not backed by anything they're just backed by you know the u.s economy the u.s uh, defense if you want to call it the u.s army so if there's a potential fall of dollar what happens and inflation we're seeing we've already seen inflation going crazy and we've seen you know bitcoin price stock market going up so it's going to be really important to see how this works so i'm you know, like massively massively bullish on bitcoin and, and especially for the freedom the decentralization and all that good stuff there are risks to it and i'm aware of the risk you know there's lots of manipulations it, there could be government bans i don't think government bans can stop it, it quant i mean i've been to a few conferences and people a lot smarter than me said in you know 50s 20 years quant computing could maybe hack bitcoin i don't know this you know i'm I'm still bullish on Bitcoin, but those are some risks as well. Please do your own research. I'm do I'm sharing with you what I'm doing, and it depends. You know, I was a lot earlier. You know, in my early twenties, I just was a lot aggressive in 2017. I'm a lot older now, so I can't be as aggressive as I was. It depends on where you. If you've got kids and you know family to support, you can't just be all in altcoin, Dogecoin. You've got to be a lot more careful. So this is where I do my chart analysis, but I'll, I'll finish that. The, the presentation but then i'll come back to my i'll give you just my prediction on bitcoin and share with you some key zones to buy and sell and um, but if you look at trading you know long term uh, bitcoin you know mid to long term you look at monthly weekly daily charts so what you do is um if you if you watch my videos on my channel again guys if you haven't subscribed please uh, subscribe uh, it really helps us out and my job i say is to keep you guys on the right side of the market i'm not saying i'll make you millions what i do say is i want to keep you guys on the right side of the market so you can capitalize and make money when we do have these crazy moves what i don't want is you going all in losing all your capital when we do get those moves you're out of crypto and you, you miss out on this move so my job is to keep you guys and i'll be wrong you know this was i was correct when we broke down i was bearish and this really helped us protect us against all this down move but you know long term i just want to keep you guys on the right side of the market and i'll get things wrong but overall i'm confident i would be able to keep you guys on the right side of the market so yeah uh, coming back to the bitcoin chart the weekly daily monthly chart we use for like high time frame long time frame biases we saw this bit here uh, this is what we look for in the long high time frame bias and in the short time uh, on the other hand we look for the hourly four hourly setups and these are some of the trades we shared you know once bitcoin broke 40k we, we took this long and these were all on live stream that i do so make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification button so you get notified when i'm going live so these are the short time frame trades you look for on the hourly shorter time frames you look for entries so you look for um, on the high time frame mid time frame you look for monthly weekly daily charts and on the short time frame you look for daily uh, charts you know the trading strategies and and my speciality is coming on the shorter scalp you know the two three minute time five minute time frame that's where my speciality comes in there's a five minute strategy videos that there is uh, you could watch and the investing strategy buying dips when we have like big 60 70 percent dips just buy some you're not going to catch the bottom and this is where my example comes in of buying at 4k i was a new youtuber i'm still a very small youtuber i don't show my face i don't you know claim those huge buy now and uh, those are all the scammy stuff you guys see but yeah i bought bitcoin here and that was my plan always plan i'm gonna start buying bitcoin at 4k but 4k 3k and that was one of my best trades because you know most people or oh, you know started buying early they were looking to sell here which is absolutely ridiculous and that was an amazing trade for me when we when we saw that big move so have some plans buy dips here buy 
big moving averages by key level so at the moment i'm looking for 30k if bitcoin comes to 30k i'm going to look to buy uh, buy some so if you've got 10k you know put 5k in if it fails you know you take a loser but i'm going to look to buy bitcoin on that high level accumulation so an example of accumulation is this this is again i traded this beautifully uh, this is an amazing accumulation you look to buy that or even here accumulation before the breakout we look for stuff like that and again i'll, I'll go into all of these accumulation buying dips a lot more detail in my strategy course online but if you are interested in any of these comment below in the next live stream i can explain to you uh, on my youtube free live streams as well this is my trading strategy so i follow a trend following trading strategy and an example give and i, I only try to give examples of live trades i've posted because anyone can say oh i bought it here sold it here on hindsight but not showing live trades is completely different so we break out our key level we look to get in on this four hour pullback stop below key support we look for rsi confluence there was like rsi confluence we had fibonacci confluence as well it was around the 50 percent 618 level you can see exactly 50 percent 618 level and that's basically my trading strategy in two minutes i spent 14 hours explaining my strategy and different entry triggers stop losses and risk management um the high time frame again you can if you want to learn it yourself type in if you want like a structured you can check out my uh, online course but if you want to learn these what you can do is type in trend type in support resistance type in moving average it will take you a lot longer uh, but you can do that learn about fibonacci fibonacci is a bit difficult because i apply it slightly different or even rsi apply it differently but there's an rsi video on my youtube that that can help you so trading bias i'm a trader i'll trade long and short so you've seen some of the short trades we've taken to keep the rocks of traders on the right side of the market i didn't really get a bitcoin short so i didn't short bitcoin but we shorted altcoins and altcoins dumped even more so it helped us um net long i keep saying this just buy some bitcoin just buy some bitcoin and this is really important bit this is probably a bit complex for newer traders but even if i'm trading bitcoin short doesn't mean long term i'm sure long term i'll make more money if bitcoin goes up because um, i hold bitcoin i want bitcoin to go up but the reason i short bitcoin is to buy back cheaper just trading and making money and this is what i've been doing you know for seven eight years now this is what, what i do full time and this is what i enjoy doing so if you go short bitcoin it goes up my net worth is going up because my bitcoin holdings going up and then um, maybe I'll make short hedging videos, but I think those are more complex for new people that are watching. Uh, don't worry about this now. What I will say is just if you do see short setups, use it as a hedge. As in, you know, if it does see a big dump, we you make money as it's going down and you can also buy Bitcoin cheaper. So it could be a double whammy. But if you're new, new, please, please write this down. Don't short if you've not been trading profitably for at least a few months. I'd say even a couple of years. So even in my Rockstar Trading Group, I tell people to not short if you're completely new. You know, you need to make sure you can make money on spot, on going long before you try huge leverages because that is the way people get liquidated. And what did I say? I want you guys from this YouTube channel to not get liquidated, to make sure your capital is protected so when we do see these big moves that's when you make life-changing money in markets like this you can chop around make 10 20 percent or you know, get lucky there's a couple of trades we took you know tron has been amazing uh, at a big rally we made money on ape uh, to go watch these videos ape was a big trade uh, we've made money on shorting you know algo near avax uh, those trades but it's really important to think long term and not get you know bogged down trying to buy and sell short time frame and get liquidated so uh, do remember that please don't short if you're completely new so how would i invest if you've got 10k and i'll, I'll, I'll put 22 now so i did the video in 2022 again I'll, I'll do i'll keep doing this video um every year and and i'll keep updating and hopefully bitcoin will be at 100k i joked about it in 2020 bitcoin will be at 50k bitcoin could be at 100k 200k next time next year or whenever i do it so i'll still say you know put bitcoin I'll, I'll shall i do an updated on this i'll put like brackets on this and i'll cut this off because i'd say around 50 percent i'd still you know 40 to 50 percent it'd still be on bitcoin investing wise again I'd, I'd still say that ethereum i'm happy to risk a bit more now so i'd probably say around 20 to 30 percent or 20 to 35 percent um because you know maybe ethereum has higher ceiling than bitcoin the the, the risk reward potentially is higher altcoins again it depends if luna keeps doing well i'll, I'll probably say you know 20 25 percent in in altcoins but that's mainly because of at the moment luna has been life-changing for me but there's only a few altcoins that i like and at the moment you know solana was okay ftm was okay but they're still trading you have to get in and out when you see things that are not going well so just buying and hodling i don't purely buy and hodl altcoins uh, DeFi wise the, the only reason why i'd say i'm in the um, Luna is more for DeFi. And then shit coins, they're just shit coins, guys. They just trade it. Please don't get married to them. And then um, you can trade against USD, GBP, um, 
but then for me i would just say you know shit coins please don't get married and go all in them summary long term a massive bullish bullish bitcoin i love bitcoin just long some bitcoin altcoins i mainly trade apart from few that i huddle which i uh, which i talked about and watch my other videos to know which altcoins i'm buying and you know check out the rock to trading group i share with you which coins i'm buying i trade uh, fx commodities indexes very heavily and they're very very correlated to cryptocurrency again watch this video it's probably one of the most important technical analysis videos i've shared go watch this video you you'll really see how bitcoin moves with the stock market so um it's really important to understand how the stock market is working because it will help you get better trades on bitcoin and if two things that i always share in my rockstar trading group updates uh, daily that i do um are spx so we look at what the spx is doing spx broke below here with bearish and dixie dixie moves against bitcoin so when dixie is strong bitcoin struggles and with really st strong dollar strength we've seen bitcoin go down and those are two key things and uh, one important chart i want to share with you this is this chart made me the most money in my life and our rock to traders is here i went short dixie here and this is when i started longing bitcoin the top in dixie which is in march 2020 is literally the top uh, the, the bottom in bitcoin in march 2020 so you can see the importance of seeing high time frame and that's what i try to the updates that i post every day that's what i try to share and then you know bitcoin at the moment bitcoin is short-term bias uh, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't buy some and i said the same la last time in you know, a short bias but you know just buy and huddle some and same thing i think bitcoin potentially goes even lower but long term i'm massively bullish on bitcoin and the next level i'm looking to buy bitcoin is 30k we'll see what happens after that and i don't want to end uh, this making a price prediction video and you, you see lots of price prediction videos in my channel but to just round up in two minutes i i, I expect like bitcoin to bounce from 30k especially if it dumps there quickly if if it starts doing this and breaks down i'll have to take a loser but i'm pretty confident you know about 60 75 percent chance we see a rally here after that i don't know is it gonna make lower highs and break down then it will be bearish and i'll probably look to take profit and look to buy back cheaper or if it does this then you know send bitcoin to the moon just buy bitcoin buy then you can even buy the shit coins because when bitcoin breaks out you know this is going to be like the old coin season that's when anything anything goes up so you know we're traders uh, we may have bias but we trade both ways uh, and follow our strategy that i talked about briefly so yeah we're, according to our risk management strategy whilst maintaining risk if you're not trading with a strategy you're not trading you're gambling so i'll end it on that note because i see people you know don't have strategies they get in a coin it goes down then they're like oh shall i hold shall i buy and this is you don't want to be in a position like this and now maybe i'll make a video talk about you know trading like a casino there's an amazing book that talks about it and there's a couple of videos on it so i'll talk about psychology next a lot more i think that's going to be the, my next video like talking about trading psychology but if you don't have a strategy you can follow my strategy again it, if you if you're interested check out our group or take my mentorship if you're interested but if not just some of the terminologies that i've shared with you you've learned from it follow them go read these books that i talked about you know pick type in some of these terms and and go follow them learn from them you you learn so much you know um, yourself there's so much information out there that's what i did i've paid for mentorships you know i paid 10 grand once to this guy in london and i didn't really learn much from him but you know i've paid like 500 pounds for like an hour call and that was life-changing for me so pay for mentorship do your own research uh, pay for courses i've paid for courses for 100 pound that ended up being amazing paid for courses like four grand for a weekend that was worse and i felt like asking for a refund and i'm like a really calm guy but i got almost really angry but this that's that comes with the part and parcel of it so do your own research and make sure you have a strategy whatever it is it could be just as simple as rsi 20 i buy rsi 80 i sell but if you don't have a strategy guys you could get ruined and what did i say i'll end the video again on that note what i want to you guys to learn is be in the market because when these moves happen you don't need me or any youtuber or any courses you make money if this happens as long as you have a strategy as long as you know to take profit in this type of market most people will make money most people have got in 2016 made money and same as like 2020 they made money they probably gave it back leverage trading but you make money so what i don't want you guys to do is um try to go aggressive and lose money um and then when we do see these huge moves, you're out of capital and you can't capitalize on it. So that's the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Any questions, comment below, guys. I'll make an up update video on this. And then on the next live stream, which is Sunday, 
I'll answer any questions that I see from this video. So any questions you have, comment below. If you enjoyed this video, comment below. Let me know. It keeps me motivated to sh share with you more content. And like I said, I want to bring you trading and actual professional trading related content. And there's lots of marketing hype, influencer hype, you know, Dubai and all this crazy stuff. If you see people with like Dubai Lamborghinis, like stop watching them and run. I'm not saying follow me. There's amazing content creators out there. Learn from them. But if you see like XRP, Dogecoin into a million and I, I mean about it if people seriously say that and share with you Gucci's Lamborghinis and Dubai then you know stop following them because they will make you lose money and you won't have capital to capitalize when the market is going up so thank you very much guys smash that like button subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much